Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your December mid-month tarot reading. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled this deck so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Now this is not a private reading so it may not resonate with you. Just take what does and leave the rest. I will focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. Okay, so many of you have persevered through a situation, you know, you've been resilient, you've been through a lot, you've learned a lot, um, you know, and you may be having some doubts, but those doubts are unwarranted, okay, some doubts about yourself, some doubts about your direction, you may ha be, be uh, becoming weary, you know, becoming weary of what's going to happen next, you know, not knowing. But the fact of the matter is, is you don't have to because of the progress that you've made. You've made a lot of progress in your life, so just keep going. You're on the right path, all right? I just, I feel like, you know, for some of you, this is in regards to a relationship, but for some of you, it's not, okay? We do have the Two of Cups right next to the Nine of Wands, which tells me that, you know, I see that you've persevered. This is what this tells me. You've persevered. You've been through a lot in a relationship, perhaps, or a partnership, so this could be work-related as well. You know, I think that many of you are contemplating a, you know, whether to move on, whether to stay or whether to go. Um, you know, there's a there's some, you may be feeling overwhelmed a little bit. You know, it is the holiday season. It can bring overwhelming emotions, overwhelming thoughts, you know, especially if you're alone. Um, if you're with somebody still, there's a feeling of feeling overwhelmed um, emotionally, okay? Many of you could be losing sleep at this time, feeling anxious, depressed, um, dreaming about the past, hoping to get your life back on track. It's like, you know what, I really just want to get my life back on track, anything to get my life back on track. Um, and I, I just feel that energy that... You know, you're putting in a lot of effort into making um, big changes. I mean, that's what I see. Some of you could be in a third-party situation, I just want to say, and you're just trying to make a decision right now. What am I going to do? Where am I going to go? Um, you know, one of them is leading to nowhere. One of them, there's nothing is happening. You've put in some, you've put in effort, and there's, like, no growth. It's like nothing is happening here, and you're starting to lose faith. Okay, you're starting to lose faith in that person. It's like, you know what, there's just no more passion. You could be dealing with a Leo. Um, there's no more passion here. This person it may not be communicating with you. Um, they may be involved in a third party or you may be involved in a third party. It does appear that there's a third party situation for somebody. It doesn't mean that somebody has strayed, but they may be just contemplating it. Somebody is contemplating bringing some peace back to their life, okay? They're contemplating bringing peace and harmony and contentment back and getting their life back on track. Six, six, six. Three sixes right here, okay? When you see three sixes, it tells me that it is time for you to get your shit together and make a decision. I think that you are really on a journey of bringing balance and harmony back to your life I think the end of this month you are really working on it it's like you know what I'm going to have peace I'm going to have harmony no matter what I'm working on it and you may have to um, you may have to walk away from somebody who isn't putting in effort okay there's a lack of effort here coming from somebody and I'm not sure who it is, but somebody isn't being putting in effort. There's no passion left. There's no light in their eyes. It's like they're not in it anymore. They may be giving you the silent treatment. I mean, I feel I feel like the silent treatment here. Um, it feels like there's just no more growth in one direction, and 
and perhaps there's been some procrastination on making a move maybe it's because you know of out of fear fear of being alone but anyway I see procrastination I see um, a lot of depression and anguish surrounding a person and this person could be somebody you know that you have children with it could be somebody that um, You know, you've done, been through a lot with this person. You've been through a lot with this person. And at one time, you thought they were your soulmate. But it appears that that was false. It was a false soulmate with this tower card. You know, I believe that it was false. And this person has really weared you down. You, you're worn down. You know, and you've come to the point where I can't. I just want peace and harmony in my life. And I know I'm repeating myself. And if you don't like it, don't watch me. But that it's clear. I mean, there's a lot of, I want peace and harmony. That's what I see. I don't want to juggle anymore. I don't want to play this game. I'm sick of these games. You know, and I think there's been procrastination on making a decision. Even though you know you need to. You've been contemplating on this for a while now. I feel like you've put in all that you can put in. And you're at your wit's end. And it needs to crash down because it was false all along. But, you know, the fact that I tried and I tried to make it work, you know, that's what I see. I tried and I tried and now it might be finally time to give up, you know. Um, it feels like there was a lot of drama here, a lot of drama, like walking on eggshells as well. Um, somebody's very much um, withdrawn in the situation. They're not communicating and that says a lot, you know. When somebody can't communicate with you, it really says a lot and I see lack of communication here somebody's not communicating and it's causing some problems um that's the truth too that's the truth so i just you know so you could be really thinking about someone from your past too if that has anything to do with it i feel like somebody is wanting the love that they used to have you know or somebody that they knew when they were a child maybe they're thinking about that person um but right now they can't head in that direction because they're stuck in one certain position that is I think that many of you are or somebody that is watching this is thinking about somebody from your past but you can't head in that direction quite yet because there's something in the way there's something in the way it could be your job maybe you maybe you don't have time to do that or you're still stuck in something and you and you just can't make a move um, and I'm just gonna get this next deck while I'm talking You might have a choice between two people, somebody from your past and somebody, um, you know, somebody new, okay? Or you might be, have a choice from two people from your past, okay? Because, it, that, I mean, that's what it appears to me, like it's two people that you already know, not somebody new. It just, I mean, there could be somebody new, but I don't think so. I think it's somebody, two people from your past, you know? I think there's a, you're thinking about two people from your past, and you be, could be, you know, overwhelmed by your thoughts at this time. You know, and stuck in a situation that you just really don't want to be in. There's too much drama, too di too much disconnect, content. There's no more growth. You've lost faith. You've lost trust. It's depression, anxiety, losing sleep. Um, the time is now. You put in all the effort that you can put in. And now you're at a point where, you know, I think I'm just about ready to uh, make a change here. I think I'm just about ready. I need peace. I need harmony. I need to do this. I need to leave something behind because it doesn't serve me. I really need to refocus on my future. What the hell do I want? I really need growth. I, I feel like, and I'm not a Capricorn, by the way. I really need, I'm talking to you. I really need, uh... To start something new. I need to go down a new path. I know that I do. I need to go down a new path. I can't live like this anymore. I feel dead inside in this current situation. I can't do this anymore. I need this change. I need to do it right now. There's just no, there's a lack of love in this relationship. I feel it and it's time for me to bring peace back to my life because I just can't do this anymore. I feel like many of you are involved in a third party situation and it is causing some heartache, okay? It's causing some grief. You don't know what to do and you really know that you need to make a choice 
and you know it's at the it's right there on the tip of your tongue you know I need to do something about this I can't stay here much longer and you're real 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 close to making a decision because all you want is to get your life back on track things have been a mess and you are done with it I'm done with it I've put in all that I can put in you know this is going nowhere I can't do it anymore I can't I'm done it's time for me to recuperate it's time for me to reevaluate my future you know and I think that you you have been doing that you but you've been ignoring the future path you know you know that you have to make a change you know you have to go down a new road but you just haven't taken action but I think the time has come where you're like you know what it's time to take action so I really think like the end of this month is you know what you're gonna find that inner strength you're gonna use your life experiences you are going to use your determination to move on I see many of you are working on moving on go ahead you have a lot of eights eights signify that it is time to go it's time to go go ahead whatever you're asking yourself should I go should I stay go eights go make the change do it I think the a door to the past is closing and it is time to start something new for you that you've been thinking about for a long time you've been thinking about closing this door and I think the time is now it's now nines are closure okay time to close the door all right, nines are closure. Nine, nine, nine. All lined right up. Nine of swords, nine of wands, and the hermit. They're all nines. Closure. When you see three nines anywhere, nine, nine, nine. It is time to close your door. It is time to move on when you see three nines. You've tolerated about all you can tolerate. It is time for you to bring compassion to your life. Compassion for yourself. I see a new door opening for you. I do. Where you won't feel dead inside. You've been thinking about this for a long time. A long time. And the time is now. Look how far you've come. Just take the next step. It's time to take the next step, Capricorn. If you're thinking about somebody from your past and you want to reunite with them, communicate. Do it. Uh, these cards are telling me to tell you to do it. Could be a soulmate connection. Oh my gosh. Don't you know it? It's true. Many of you are thinking about contemplate or contacting somebody from your past. And it doesn't mean it's somebody you dated. It could be. But it's somebody I think that you have been wondering about and thinking about and uh, wanting to know more, you know, wanting to, wondering if this was really the one, you know. I think many of you are really like, you know what, that was probably the one. And now you're at a point where it's like, you know, I think I really need to go in this direction. Oh my gosh. I love it when this happens. Relationship. And this is good advice right here, by the way. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God. And every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. That's a good one. This is just reiterated the reading I gave you. From Archangel Michael. Go forward fearlessly. It's time. You know it is. Your inner predicament right now that makes you very unhappy causes you stress, arguing arguments it's just like very unhealthy move on 
Go forward fearlessly. My prayer, thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage in guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. And I'm going to change that up just a minute in the direction of love in my true life's love. I believe that you are contemplating, communicating with somebody from your past or heading in that direction or telling them how you've always felt. I would say the answer is do it. I don't think you'll be sorry if you do. I think that it will lead you to a lot of love because right now you're in a false predicament. So Capricorn, this is what I have for you for December 15th through the 31st, 2017, December mid-month. Um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I will talk to you next time.